beautiful people welcome once again to checkpoint we want to thank you for your likes for your shares for your comments on facebook twitter instagram and on youtube because of you this message is going further and it's going faster and i am truly grateful Please keep sharing these messages to your loved ones, to your friends, to your family, and I am sure they would always be blessed. Today on Checkpoint, I'd like to be discussing with you a very important topic, and that topic is simple. Why you need to have confidence. Why you need to have confidence. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 tells us that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us power, he has given us love and sound mind. This is the spirit he has given to us. The book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36 also tells us that we should not cast away our confidence, which has a great recompense of reward. So it's important that we have confidence. See, in this current world, I understand the situation around us, the challenges we go through, the things happening around us, the pains and the child and disappointments and rejections that we face usually make us to lose confidence in ourselves. You see, when things happen to us, we begin to tell ourselves, oh, we are not good enough. Oh, we are not, we, we are not worthy of love. Oh, we are not worthy to be respected. Oh, we don't deserve that. We don't deserve this. You see, sometimes even the people around us, the people who are very close to us, most times they, give, they say words and give various opinions that do not suggest anything good about us. They use ill words at us. They, use, they say bad things that make us feel like, oh, we don't deserve anything good. Oh, we are not worth it. Oh, we are not enough. Oh, we, we are not good enough. And you cannot afford to keep listening to these voices. You cannot afford to keep listening to the opinions of people about you because the opinions of people about you is not God's definition for your life. It's just a mere opinion. And that opinion is not a reflection of your personality. God has made you great. God has made you powerful. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but he has given you the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of a, a very sound mind. You are so good. You are so confident. You are so great. You are so powerful. The issue is this. You tend to believe others more than you believe in yourself. I am calling you out today to have more confidence in yourself. See, through scriptures, we see different characters, like a character of Gideon. Gideon was a young man who was a mighty man of valor, yet he was busy threshing his wheat in a wine press. See, he was scared. He was scared of the Midianites. He knew that if they came to him, his life would have been terminated. A lot of bad things would have happened to him. But the other truth that he did not know is that he was a mighty man of valor. No wonder. When the angel came and told him, Oh, mighty man of valor, Gideon. He looked around like, Is he really talking to me? <clears throat> no. It's not me. It might be somebody else. But the angel called him based on what God had seen about him. You see, what thing I like about God, one thing I love about God, is that he will never address you the way man addresses you. He will never look down on you the way people have looked down on you. He will never call you the names that people who you tend to, who, who you assume love you, will call you. He will call you by the true definition of who you truly are. So please arise from that hiding place. Arise from that place where you have a hiding and, and looking down on yourself because God has something better for you. Queen Esther did not look at her background. She did not consider where she was coming from. Being a slave girl and all, but she just set her heart on God and had confidence in herself. And when the time came, because of the confidence she exuded, the Bible said that the king had favor unto her. And when the king had favor, she became the queen of the entire Persian kingdom. See, you need confidence. The, the, the issue did not stop there. At a time, at a time when her own family members and her people were about to be annihilated, she was scared. You see, courage is not the absence of fear. Confidence is not the absence of fear. It's just that you are able to stand above that fear. It's just that you're able to tell yourself, no matter what is happening around me, no matter what is happening in me, I am confident 
that God who brought me to earth in a time like this has a purpose for me. So she stood and she said, utter the word that was going to be significant for generations to come. What did she say? She said, if I perish, I perish. You have to tell yourself, if you perish, you perish. You have to come to that point this year that no matter what happens in your life, no matter what is happening in your life, you have to stand on your feet and do something. Tell yourself, if I perish, I perish. But what if you don't perish? But what if nothing happens to you? Just stand up. Stand up. Stop the pity party. Stop the expecting the sympathy. Show no weakness. For the world has no pity. These were the words that my father gave to me when I was a little child. He said, show no weakness. For the world has no pity. Wake up from that place that you are in. Stop looking for who, to, who will pity you. Stop looking for who will have a compassion on you. Enough is enough. Arise. Develop some confidence. Because if you don't have confidence, you will lack evidence in life. I say it again. If you don't have confidence, you will lack evidence in life. Develop your confidence. I'd like to share with you reasons why you need to believe in yourself. Reasons why you need to have confidence. Number one, because God has confidence in you. Do you think God created a non-entity? Do you think God wasted his time to create somebody who was never going to be useful? God spent his time creating you in his image and in his likeness. Meaning that if he's a confident God, you are a confident person. That if he's, the, if he's the almighty, you are equally almighty here on earth. So please, I want you to understand that God believes in you. He knows you are capable of the assignment he has given you here on earth. He knows that you are able to handle the situation that has come upon you. God knows. He knows that you can arise from that merry clay and he will set your feet on the rock for you to stand. God knows and he believes in you. So wake up, stand up, square your shoulders, lift your chin and tell yourself, I can make it. I can become all that God has ordained for me to be. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You see, when we ask you to have confidence, I'm not telling you to have confidence in, your, in just your abilities, but have confidence because God already has confidence in you. He has deposited some treasure in you. He has deposited some abilities in you. And he expects you to have confidence to be able to utilize those talents and abilities successfully here on earth. He wants you to do something with your life. God believes in you. Can I say it again? God believes in you. He knows you can make it. He knows you can do it. So stop listening to what people have to say. Their opinions don't matter. What they have to say don't matter. What matters the most is that God is with you. Number two reason why you need to have confidence is because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. If you don't have confidence in yourself, nobody will have confidence in you. You have to start it. You have to tell yourself, I am capable. I am able to do all that God wants me to do. I am able to do this job. I am able to handle this assignment. I am able to handle this pressure without breaking. I am able to come out of this situation and get better. It is true that this has happened to me, but what matters is that I am coming out of it. See, your background can never stop your higher ground. The fact that you are down today does not mean you're going to be down forever. Believe in yourself. Have confidence in yourself. Tell yourself you can make it. Tell yourself you are beautiful. Tell yourself you are capable. Tell yourself you are strong enough. Believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody will believe in you. If you don't have confidence in yourself, nobody will have confidence in you. This is another reason why you need to have confidence in yourself. The third and final reason why you need to believe in yourself is because there are many lives whose destinies and rising depends on your rising. There are many people whose rising in life, whose establishment in life depends on your rising. Many are not going to school today because you have not risen. There are people who are depending on you to rise. 
There are people who are depending on you to get better. There are people who are depending on you to shine for their own shining to happen. The earnest creatures waited for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. The earnest creation, this generation, is waiting for your manifestation. Your family is waiting for your manifestation. Your society is waiting for your manifestation. Have confidence in yourself and manifest. There are people who will never go to school because you are still at the state that you are in. There are people whose house rent will never be paid because the one who is supposed to pay the house rent is still engaged in some pity party. Is still engaged in some kind of depression. Arise. It, you are not the only one. You are not the only one who is passing through challenges. You are not the only one who is passing through pain. You are not the only one who is going through what you are currently going through now. As a matter of fact, there are people who are going through worse things than you are, and they are still making it. Arise and shine and become the best version of yourself. Arise and shine because the light of God is upon you in a time like this. Develop confidence in yourself. Get better. Believe in yourself because there are destinies that are waiting for your rising. Make sure that no matter what happens to you, no matter what you see, no matter what is troubling you in a time like this, make up your mind to increase improve and develop your confidence because you are who God says you are. You are able. You are strong. You are powerful. You are capable. You are the one that everyone is looking upon. You can make it. You can do it. I know this because I know that God lives in you. God bless you and thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Keep sharing the video and keep shooting on every side. Bye.